guys. So welcome. Um, today I'm going to do something a little bit different than I have before. Um, I've never done an empties video, so that is what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to do my empties video. And just to let you guys know, it is not all body care items. There is um, some like hygiene, some beauty, some body, and even some like scented home type items items that I'm going to be going through. So I'll go through the items pretty quickly because I don't want this video to take too long. Um, but I will like briefly describe each one and then tell you if I will repurchase or not and then go from there. So um, yeah, if you're into these kind of videos, I would love if you stick around and watch it and we will just get right into it. All right, so I do have quite a few things here. Um, I have this huge like cube thing full of stuff. So I definitely need to go through this and do this today and get rid of my trash so I can restart for next time. I don't know, this was probably like, I don't know, like two months worth or so. Um, but yeah, it's just a lot of random things. There's body care, there's hygiene, there's home stuff, there's um, like cosmetics. So we're just going to get right into it. So I'm going to start with the first item. So this is actually toasted honeycomb white barn cleansing gel hand soap. And this is from Bath and Body Works. So, um, so when I first got this, I said it kind of smelled like butterscotch. And to me, it smelled really good. Um, the fragrance notes on this one are wild honey, almond milk, and marshmallow. So of course, that's going to smell pretty good to me. But the thing is, is um, I had it up in our upstairs master bathroom. And my husband does not like it. So he told me that he did not like this one. So I will not repurchase it just because he didn't like it. Personally, um, if it weren't for him, I probably would repurchase this because to me, the scent was kind of comforting and warm. So um, personally, I enjoyed the fragrance of this, but he did not. So that's why the, this will not be a repurchase. Okay, and then um, I went through this EOS shave cream. So sorry guys if the bottles are like look a little bit gross because I did use all these products and I didn't go through them and like clean them up or anything. So um, this is the EOS Evolution of Smooth Shea Better 24 Hour Moisture Shave Cream. And this one is in Pink Citrus. And I really, really enjoyed this scent. I love the EOS um, shave creams. I usually always use them now because they just provide more of a moisture. Um, and so I get less like razor burn when I, you know, use it because I do shave every day. Like I shave my armpits and different areas every single day. So, um, so yeah, I need something that's going to give me some moisture. I know that some people are not a fan of this product because it clogs up your razor, but personally, I don't find that to be too bothersome. I just, you know, shave and then I, you know, rinse off my razor every, you know, swipe or two. So to me, it's not a problem and it makes my skin feel really good. So, um, I can get over it clogging my razor. So, um, yeah, this is in pink citrus though. And I loved the fragrance of this one. It smelled really, really good. And the problem is, is it's not available. Like I got this one at Target in the pink citrus, you know, a couple months ago and now they do not have that one offered. So I had to go with a different one. So yes, I would repurchase this, but unfortunately I could not repurchase the same scent. I couldn't repurchase the pink citrus. Um, the pink citrus is kind of like a really sweet grapefruit type smell. And yeah, I, I thought it was really refreshing for summer. So I was kind of bummed out. I couldn't get another one of these, but um, I just got a different scent. So I don't know what's up with them discontinuing this scent or whatever. I had never seen it before when I bought this one and then I've never seen it since. So yeah, if you guys see this one, the pink citrus is good. It smells really, really good. 
so yeah, that would be a repurchase. I have already repurchased the EOS just in a different fragrance. Okay, so then I have this Glade spray. This is um, like a room spray. So this is Coastal Sunshine Citrus. So um, yeah, I use this in our bathrooms. We use this a lot. Um, sometimes in our kitchen or bedrooms or whatever, we'll use a room spray. So, so yeah, this one was okay. The smell was decent, but it was pretty light, I would have to say. Um, so I do prefer the old style bottles of the Glade. Like I think I have a new one in here as well, but the old style ones with this kind of top to me just spray a lot better. And I don't know if they've discontinued this type of bottle or what, but um, they were clearing these out. So they were only a dollar. So that's why I picked up a few of them. They were only a dollar at Dollar General. Um, but they were being cleared out and then they had like bigger ones for, I don't know, like two something. But to me, those don't spray it as well. I used one of those and it went really, really fast. And then the spray like left this wetness on everything. But these old ones do not do that. So I actually prefer the old style. So I hope they didn't discontinue this one, but we'll see. So yeah, the Coastal Sunshine Citrus was good. It was like a citrus type scent, but it wasn't too heavy at all. Like it wasn't super fragrant or anything. So yeah, I definitely would, you know, recommend the Glade sprays in the old style bottles though. I like those a lot better. Okay, and then um, this one right here, this is the Dove Cherry and Chia Milk um, Bar Soap, and it's called Revitalizante. I don't know if I'm, you know, pronouncing that correctly, but I have this in my shower right now, so I'm not completely done with this product, but I do like it a lot. Um, I have a bunch more in the same scent that I'm planning to use, but after using this for over a week, I would definitely have to say that I really, really like it. And I think it's my favorite Dove soap now. So I used to really like the, which one was it? It was the calming one. I like that one. Um, and then the white one's all right. But this one is so good. It made my skin so smooth, no irritation, everything. So I'm going to be sticking with this cherry Dove soap for now anyways. So yeah, definitely like this, would definitely repurchase this again. All right, so then I have this Tree Hut. So Tree Hut in Papaya Paradise. This is the Shea Sugar Scrub. So this was really good. Um, the smell was like papaya, but to me it kind of smelled a bit more like peach or something. So it was okay, but if you guys have been watching my videos, you would know that I'm not a huge peach lover. Like, I don't like a lot of peach scented things. Like, I, I just don't care for it for some reason. So, um, so yeah, it was okay, but I want to get through this. So, I got this at the, I don't know when this was. This was, like, during spring I got this, I think, at some point. It was after all those new ones came out, like the peach one and, um the Blue Lagoon and all that. So I got this one and yeah, since I didn't really care for the scent as well, I wanted to just get through it. So that's why I went through this one so quickly um, that I really just tried to get through this one so that I could get it gone and out of there. And since it was spring type summer scent, I just wanted to use it up. So that's what I did. So as you can see, it is completely gone. And as a repurchase, Okay, so I would repurchase the Shea Sugar Scrub, but I probably won't repurchase the Papaya Paradise scent. So is this a repurchase? Kind of, because I definitely will repurchase the scrubs. I love Tree Hut scrubs. They're like my favorite scrub. They're very abrasive um, if you like a really rough scrub, and I definitely do. So um, yes, I would repurchase Tree Hut scrubs. But as far as this scent, probably not. Unless it was like a really good deal or something. Then I might because I do use scrubs um, regularly. So we'll go on from that. Then I just have this normal hand sanitizer. This is what we use in our bathrooms. 
So we usually just use the Purell hand sanitizer. This one's two times sanitizing strength, refreshing gel. So I always get the little pump ones for um, our bathrooms. I have one in each bathroom and we go through them relatively quickly. I usually don't have one by our kitchen sink because I tend to just wash my hands up there quite a bit. So I don't even need sanitizer, but we do go through quite a few of these because um, we just do, we use them a lot. And my kids try to use this like way too much and not wash their hands. So um, yeah, I keep having to remind them to keep washing their hands, but this is definitely good to have around, you know, just in case or when, you know, you quickly need to just have some sanitizer. So yeah, this is definitely a repurchase. I will repurchase and I have repurchased this quite a few times. So yeah, and we just get the plain one, the Purell one, because my husband likes that one too. Some of the generic ones, like I got a generic Target one, which I didn't mind, but he did not like the scent of it. So, so we just stick with this one now. All right, so this is one of the larger Glade sprays that I was talking about that I don't care for as much. This is Glade Air Freshener Limited Edition Cotton Cloud Dream Notes of Airy Clouds and Cotton. So the scent was okay on this one. Um, it was kind of just like a really clean, fresh cotton. It reminded me a little bit of their linen one, which is fine. And um, I like the uh, fresh scents for my home. So um, yeah, this one, it's all right. I think the packaging got me because the little clouds and the cotton cloud dream. I don't know, but um, I had to get this one. It's it was like $2.99 or something like that. As you can see, I got it from Target because they still have have the tape on it. I get everything shipped, so they tape up the stuff really good before they send it. So um, this went really quickly, though. Like, this spray went so quick compared to all my other Glade sprays. I don't know if, like, some of it got used or spilled or what happened, but this went so, so quick. And... I would not purchase this again because of that. I don't know if it was because my product was not, you know, good, like it was used or something, or if it's like the whole type of this product because this is the bigger one. And um, I did notice when you use this one compared to the older style one, it sprays out like this mist that is not as fine and it gets like on the floor and stuff. So it can be actually slippery when you spray this one. So definitely be careful with these Glade ones that are a bit bigger because they do kind of leave like a residue on the ground or counter or wherever you spray it um, over. So yeah, definitely be careful with this. The The smell was fine, but I will not repurchase this because it really did not last very long at all for me and the mist was slippery when you sprayed it and then it would like land on the floor so i probably would not repurchase this one all right and then we have a makeup product so this is just a loose powder so I would use loose powder every single day on my face to like set my makeup instead of using like a setting spray or anything like that. I just use loose powder over my foundation. So this one actually is CoverGirl's Clean Professional. And sorry, there's like makeup marks on it, but you know how it goes when you use a product and then it gets kind of messy and you're done with it. So this is, yeah, loose powder. This is in the Translucent Fair 105. This is clean professional. So um, yeah, it's just a loose powder. As you can see, there's a tiny bit left in the bottom. So I just put this on with like a brush, like a flat brush, and it works really, really well sets my makeup and everything. So yes, I would repurchase this and I have repurchased this many times. The one that I actually repurchased to replace this one is Maybelline. So I tend to go back and forth between the CoverGirl one and then the Maybelline one. It kind of just depends what they have and, you know, as far as price, if one's lower, I'll get one over the other because 
to me, they're kind of interchangeable. I use both their loose powders, Maybelline's and CoverGirl's. So um, I kind of go back and forth between those ones. But yeah, definitely recommend this. I love it. I love it over my makeup. It just sets it really good and makes it stay in place because I do tend to have very oily skin. So I have to use something that's like kind of mattifying. So yeah, have to use that. All right, then we have another Dove soap. This is the calming one that I was talking about. So I like this one. This is probably my second favorite now after the cherry and chia milk one. Um, it's oatmeal and rice milk scent, it says, which um, to me, it just smells kind of like, I don't know. It smells really mild to me. Like it's more mild than say their um, Dove white one. Their white one is actually pretty fragrant to me. So this one's, you know, more subtle in scent, I would say, but um, it's a nice scent and I definitely enjoyed using this product and it was good for my skin. My skin does tend to get irritated, so I don't use like shower gels and stuff like that. So um, I usually always stick to bar soap. So yeah, I definitely would repurchase this again as well. All right, so this is pretty disgusting. Um, I don't even want to show you it, but it's... I will because yeah but it's pretty disgusting guys this is the type of mouthwash I use it's um Listerine total care so I don't want to show it for too long just because it is disgusting on the outside okay it got like all this nasty stuff built up on it but that's kind of what happens so um yeah I always use the Listerine total care one this is actually the one with alcohol I went back and forth between the one with um zero alcohol and then with alcohol but I prefer the one that actually contains the alcohol because it doesn't irritate my gums or anything and it just makes it feel cleaner than the zero alcohol one but um, yeah, definitely I love this one and this actually was recommended by my dentist. So that is why I started using this one and then I just kept on with it because my teeth and gums, I do have some sensitivity going on. So um, like I've tried to switch up mouthwashes before and then my gums just kind of get really inflamed and don't like it. So I tend not to do that anymore. I just stick with this one that they told me and that works for me. So the Listerine Total Care is what I use for that. Would I repurchase? Of course. And I have. So I have a full one in my bathroom right now that I did repurchase. Okay. So then I have this right here. Um, we finished this off. This was actually during the holidays that I bought this. And then we just finished it off. Um, it was in my kids bathroom. So this is pine wonderland limited edition um, Glade spray notes of pine juniper and mistletoe. My son really liked this one. I thought it was okay um, It wasn't like the best one. I enjoyed the other seasonal one better the apple pie one um, But this one was okay and my kids liked it So it worked out and it was like kind of Christmassy for the holiday season so would I repurchase this? Yes, but only if it was like holiday season toward Christmas. So I would not repurchase this right now, but I would in Christmas season or the holiday season. All right, then I just have, I have a couple of these little soaps. These are just um, the liquid hand soaps with milk and honey. We went through a few of those and I know we went through even more of these, but I tossed them. These are just the Target brand. They're up and up and these are only like 98 cents or something at Target. So, um, so yeah, if I'm in need of hand soap for our bathrooms or something, sometimes I just grab the really cheap ones, like the 98 cent ones, um, because we do go through them quite fast. So these were the ones with the milk and honey um, it says compare to soft soap, milk, and golden honey moisturizing hand soap. But to me, these work just fine. Um, they don't leave like a strong scent on your hands or anything. But for the price at like 98 cents, and since we use soap a lot, definitely worth it. And I definitely would repurchase this. So yeah, and this was from Target. All right, so then I have this right here. This is the Jergens Enriching Shea Butter Lotion. And it says it is oil infused. 
All right, so I love this lotion. This is what I use um, at night. So every night I use this lotion. Um, I love it. It works really good on my skin. It just, I don't know, it's really thick, but it absorbs well. So um, I enjoy it and I enjoy the scent. The scent is very like mild and calming. It's kind of just a shea um, scent. So yeah, I, I like this. It's really good. Yeah, it's like a really calming, just gentle scent. And when I sleep, I don't like a whole lot of scented products on myself. And especially because my husband, like I don't want to overwhelm him with a bunch of like scented products on my skin. So I usually keep those on my skin during the day, like use Bath and Body Works or perfumes or whatever during the day. And then at night, I just use this um, before I go to bed to make sure my skin is nice and moisturized and that I won't be itchy or whatever. Will I repurchase this? Yes, I have already repurchased this. Um, I've repurchased this many, many times. I have a new one with a pump actually on my bedside table right now. So yes, this is definitely a repurchase. I love this one. All right, so then I have this Bath and Body Works hand soap and this is in Kitchen Lemon. So I use this one actually for the kitchen. Since it's Kitchen Lemon, I thought that would be a good fragrance for the kitchen. So um, I know some of you guys know, you know, if you have, you know, stinky stuff on your hands, like garlic, whatever fish, that lemon soaps and lemon can take that off a lot of times. So um, that's why this one is like a really good kitchen soap as well. And then it just smells really nice and fresh. Like it just smells the best in the kitchen to me. Um, so yeah, I definitely would repurchase this at, you know, a sell price. Um, I don't think I would repurchase this at full price because it, it's $7.50 full price. So I usually do not buy like Bath and Body Works on full price. I always wait for the sale. So this was probably like $3.50 or something, maybe $4 at the most. But um, yes, I would definitely repurchase this. I enjoyed it. It smelled good. Um, my husband enjoyed it as well. My kids used it and didn't complain or anything. So yes, I would definitely repurchase this. Okay, so now I have this Bath and Body Works Champagne Toast Shea Butter Cleansing Bar. And I actually used this one all up, so it is completely gone. Um, I did like this one. I think their bar soaps work really well for my skin. They are not overly scented though. So if you do get Bath & Body Works um, a bar soap from them, don't expect a strong fragrance product. It's kind of like a lighter fragrance. Like I could smell that it was champagne toast and everything, but when I was using it, it wasn't very strong. And it doesn't leave like a scent on your skin really or anything like that, which I don't mind because I use, you know, fragrance mists and body lotions and all that stuff anyways. But um, yeah, if you're expecting like a really highly fragrance product from this, I definitely would not, you know, go for this. But if you're more into stuff that's light and gentle on your skin and that works in the shower, um, yeah, definitely would recommend this. It was moisturizing. I had no irritation with this. Um, it smelled clean and everything. So would I repurchase this? Yes, but not for full retail price. I would wait for a sale. This full retail price is $8.50. So I think I got this probably for like, you know, three bucks or something like that. So, or yeah, somewhere around there. But so I would repurchase it at that price, but not at full price. All right, then I went through this little mini thing. Ew, this got stuff all over it. I think maybe something spilled in here. So sorry guys, because this is all yucky um, and I don't have anything to wipe it off with right now. So this is just the Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion Dry to Normal Sensitive Skin. So yeah, it's disgusting on the front. Sorry, something spilled in here. I think it was one of the scrubs or something. Um, but yes, I would definitely repurchase this again. I have repurchased this again. It is in my, um, cupboard right now in my bathroom. So I do like it. It's a, just a very gentle lotion. It works really, really well on my face. I use this as a face lotion every single day. So, um, 
there's really no scent to it or anything like that, but it just works really well. And even these little tiny bottles that, you know, I could get a big one, but the thing is, is this little tiny bottle lasts me forever because I don't use a ton on my face. I just use a little tiny bit on my face every day. So this lasted me actually quite a long time. Would I repurchase this? Yes, I have repurchased this. It's in my um, cupboard right now. So yes. Okay, so then I have a candle here. This is um, a Mainstays candle. So this is from Walmart and it is in the scent Cranberry Mandarin. So as you can see, I burnt it all. Um, usually, especially in the winters, I'll burn a candle when I first get up and have my coffee and if it's kind of dark out or whatever, because a lot of times I get up early and I have to get my kids ready for school and all that stuff. So, um, I burned through these, some of these candles were like the last of winter's, um, candles. Cause I haven't really even been using candles recently because the weather is getting better and everything. So it says cranberry mandarin, cranberry, currant, and sweet orange. And, um, would I repurchase this? Probably the scent throw wasn't great. Um, on cold, it's like, okay but I would repurchase this because of the price. The price was like three something. So yes, I would repurchase this for a, um, was this 11.5 ounce candle with three wicks. So I think I would repurchase this. Um, the scent was okay and the price was even better. <laughs> All right, so on to the next. Okay, so this is a sanitizer that I got. This is the um, Up and Up one. So this is from Target. So I got this one. This is why I was talking about with the generic hand sanitizers. We did go through all of this, but um, after that, my husband expressed that he did not like the scent of this, which I didn't really get much of a scent out of this, but he said that he didn't like the scent of it, that he only likes Purell. So um, now we're going to stick with the Purell ones. But to me, this was decent and it worked. So if you're not super sensitive to smells, the up and up ones are very, very affordable. And to me, they work really well like Purell. So if it were up to me, and like I only lived in this household, yes, I would repurchase, but um, it's not. So I'm not going to repurchase this. I'm not going to repurchase because my husband said he didn't like it. So um, so we're going to go with just the Purell ones. So no, I will not be repurchasing this one because he said that he did not care for the smell. Okay, then I have another calming Dove bar soap, which I'm not going to talk about again since I already talked about this one. I said, yes, I would repurchase this. Okay, then I have another Glade spray. This is um, in the old style packaging. I got it for like a dollar at the Dollar General and it is in Bubbly Berry Splash. So I did like this fragrance, but it was a little bit light again but it did spray out well. So um, yes, I would repurchase this, especially if they had it for a dollar again. Definitely it would be a repurchase. Okay, so I have another one of these as well. So as you can see, I really like this lotion. Um, I do use it every single night. So I go through this lotion more than any other lotion, probably any Bath and Body Works lotion, whatever, because I use this every single night. Okay, so I have this um, cosmetic item now. This is um, Maybelline, the Falsies Lash Lift. So I like this one. This is in Blackest Black. So Blackest Black, um, the Falsies Lash Lift by Maybelline. And I really like this one. To me, it makes your eyelashes kind of lengthen and thicken. So personally, I don't wear false eyelashes. Um, I don't know if I might get into that or not at some point. But right now, you know, I'm not wearing false eyelashes ever or anything. 
but I do like that look. Like I like the look of, you know, say having more to your lashes, like a larger lash. So that's why I originally went with the Falsies Lash Lift. Um, but I did really enjoy this. It stays on well. Um, it extends them and kind of gives you a little bit more volume. So this is what the end looks like. So yeah, I really enjoyed this one. And would I repurchase? Yes, because I have repurchased it. Um, I have a new, well, actually it's almost gone now too, but um, I have one in my cosmetics right now. The only thing that is a drawback on this one is the price. It is like $10 for a mascara. So I mean, that's a little bit high, but compared to some things, it's not that bad. So yeah, I would definitely repurchase the Falsies Lash Lift by Maybelline. I liked that one. All right, I have this Bath and Body Works bar soap in pink pineapple sunrise. And I am actually currently using this. I have this in the shower right now. Um, so I'm kind of going back and forth between the Cherry Dove one and this one. But um, like I said, the Bath and Body Works soaps don't have a very strong fragrance to them. Um, it's just a very, very light fragrance, I would say, but the formula is good. Like it feels really good on my skin. It makes it feel moisturized, smooth. Um, so would I repurchase this again? Yes, I would repurchase this again. And, um, the scent is pretty light, but it's still okay. And, um, although I would not repurchase it again for the full price. So this is $8.95 full price. I probably got this for, you know, three bucks or something. So would I repurchase? Yes. On a sale price, I would repurchase this. <clears throat> okay. So now I have the Tree Hut Tahitian Vanilla Bean Scrub. So I know a lot of you guys are disappointed that this is discontinued. Basically, they replaced it with that new vanilla one, which I actually got that one too. Now, um, but this one was okay, but when I originally purchased this one, I thought it was going to be a different type of vanilla smell. Like, this is very woody vanilla to me. This definitely has like a woody style tone to this um, vanilla, which grew on me. So at first, I really didn't like this at all. I kind of thought it smelled like dirt or something. And then as I use it more and more, I actually kind of grew on me and it's more of like a mature vanilla. So it's like a woody vanilla type fragrance. And um, I do like this one, but unfortunately I will not be able to repurchase this because it is discontinued. Um, I definitely will repurchase Tree Hut Scrubs, like I said, but probably not in this fragrance since it is discontinued. I already purchased the other vanilla one, so I think I'm good on that. But yeah, I love these Tree Hut Scrubs. Like I've told you guys before, love Tree Hut Scrubs. They're so good. Okay, so I didn't put all the wallflowers that I went through in here, but I have one for some reason. So my other ones are, I think, in... I don't know. They're in a box downstairs, I think. So I will have to get those. But this one is Eucalyptus Springs. And I did not care for this scent. I think this scent actually gave me a headache. Um, I really like the strawberry daiquiri ones. Those are really good. They smell so good. Um, the strawberry scent is so, so good. So um, yeah, the Eucalyptus Springs, not a big fan of that scent at all. I would not repurchase that scent. It says it's fresh eucalyptus leaves, sparkling spring water, and sweet lavender. So I will not repurchase that scent, but of course I will repurchase wallflowers. Um, but yeah, not in this fragrance. So I will have to pull out my other wallflowers and put them in here for next time's empties because I totally forgot about those. Okay, so then I have this Glade Spray in Clean Linen. This is another one of the ones that have the new top. So it's actually a bigger bottle and it has a new top, but I think that they don't last as long um, as the old ones in the old formula. So I don't know. Um, I would repurchase this, but hopefully in a new bottle because the scent is fine. I like clean linen scent for my house, but um, 
when you spray it out, it does kind of put, you know, it gets like all over the floor and the counter or wherever you're spraying, you know, it drips down and it's like super wet. So I don't know what they did with their new formulation and their new nozzles or whatever, but I don't like it. I prefer the old ones. So if they don't improve them or come back with the other ones, I might have to find a different kind of room spray. So if you guys have any recommendations for room sprays or anything, um, let me know. All right, so I have this little chapstick. This is Blistex Medicated Lip Balm. I go through these like crazy. I always use these at night. So I tend to use these ones at night and then I'll use like an EOS one possibly during the day. Sometimes I use these in the day as well, like under my lip gloss and everything. And then I also have this Blistex one in medicated mint. So medicated mint and then just the like original one. So I went through both of these. Um, I go through a ton of these. Will I repurchase? Yes, because I always do repurchase these. I always use these at night. Um, my lips get really dry for some reason and the bottom one always tends to crack if I do not use chapstick or anything like that. So um, yeah, I definitely have to use something at night and in the day or I just have a lot of problems with my lips. So definitely repurchase Blistex Medicated. Okay, so now I have this one. So there's a little bit of product left in there, as you can see, but it's all, you know, messed up. So it's not in like palette form. This is, um, what is this? Okay, so this is made for Mocha. So this is an eyeshadow expert wear um, in Maybelline and it's made for Mocha 140. So I use this. This is like a really dark brown. I use this one for my eyebrows. So I use like an angle brush and then I use this dark um, brown eyeshadow and I just put my eyebrows on that way. I don't like using eyebrow pencils and stuff like that. It's just too hard to do it for me. I just prefer using an angle brush and using eyeshadow. So this works for me. So that's what I do. All right. I have this little nail polish remover. I think I just got this from Dollar Tree guys, but I always go through nail polish remover because I do my nails at home. Um, I don't do falsy nails or anything like that. I usually just, you know, use some paint on them, some sparkles, stuff like that. Um, and try to keep my like real nails in good condition because before when I've gotten like false nails, it like wrecks my real nails. So I tend not to want to get false nails or anything like that. But um, you guys can let me know though, do those stick on nails actually stick on for like a long time? Let me know. Like if you don't get them professionally done, you just buy stick on nails. I don't know because I have thought about it, but I do so many like dishes. I have two kids. So I'm like really hands on. So a lot of times that's not good for me. Like it'll just pop off or something I expect, but I don't know. I haven't used false nails for a really, really long time. Okay. So will I repurchase nail polish remover? Yes. I don't know if I would repurchase the same kind though, because it didn't work the best. So the Dollar Tree nail polish did, or remover did not work the best. I think I rebought a nail polish remover that was from Target, I think now that I have in there. So yes, I would buy nail polish remover again, but probably not this brand. All right, I have another candle. This one is in Hidden Springs. The notes on it are marine, moss, citrus, and driftwood. This is another like Walmart one. So it was only like $3 and something. So it's hard to complain about ones that are that cheap. But, and it's like a three wick, um, the 11.5 ounces. So I would repurchase this, but I did not care for this scent. So I probably would not repurchase this scent. Yeah, it smells kind of like manly or something. Um, I mean, it's not bad. Like, it's not too bad, but I just, I wouldn't repurchase this scent personally. It just wasn't that great to me. It was different than what I expected. So, um, yeah, I would repurchase this type of candle from Walmart, but not the scent. I went through this little native deodorant, and this is in Sugar Cookie. 
I finished this one off and I really like this one. I actually have it in the full size as well. So I'm working on using the full size right now. It's lasting me a very, very long time. These native deodorants last me like so long. I don't know. I kind of wanted to get one from the sweet shop collection, but I have so much left from my sugar cookie one still that I'm still like working on that one. So I just haven't even got got another one but um yeah this mini I just wanted to try it out and I loved it so that's why I got the big bottle but yeah I love this deodorant native sugar cookie is so good and I can't wait to try more scents from them once I run out of my deodorant Okay, then I have two of these concealers. This is like the only concealer that I like to use. It is um, just a stick style concealer. So it's just like a stick, but there's nothing left, obviously. But um, this is in ivory. I use it in ivory and it's Maybelline cover stick. So it's like a solid stick. I know a lot of concealers are liquid, but I don't like the liquid ones and I've got an irritation under my eyes with the liquid ones. So um, I tend to definitely like the stick ones that are more waxy and you can just put it on and then put your makeup over it. So, um, or I put foundation over this. So yeah, I definitely love these. Will I repurchase? Yes, I always repurchase these. These are my favorites. CoverGirl has some too that are like this that I go back and forth between, but I think I've been having a hard time finding those. So I've just been sticking with these Maybelline ones. All right, guys, I'm coming to the end. I only have a few things left. It's sorry. It's so long. It's like going forever. Um, okay. So here's another cosmetic type one. This is the Maybelline New York eyeshadow in 100, which is vanilla. So I use this eyeshadow like every day too. It's just a white eyeshadow. That is pretty much all. Would I repurchase? Yes, I have repurchased. It's in my little cosmetic bin. So yes, I like these little Maybelline singles for multiple purposes. But yeah, the white one is really great. You can use it like as a highlighter right by your eye and stuff like that. So um, I love this one. All right, this is a blush from Maybelline. So I guess I use pretty much Maybelline products. I use a lot of Maybelline, I just realized. So um, yeah, this is a blush and this is Fit Me blush. I know I went through concealer or not concealers, foundations and stuff, but I must have not put them in here. So I do use the Fit Me um, foundation as well from Maybelline. I love that one. But this is the blush and this one is in Plum. And there's like none left or there's a little tiny bit left around the edges there. So this one is in Plum and I... Did repurchase this so would I repurchase yes I have repurchased this so yeah definitely like Maybelline makeup okay so only a couple things left guys Ooh, this has like stuff all over it I think this got okay so this is the Shea Better 24 hour moisture shave cream and this one is in vanilla bliss so it's kind of nasty because I used it all a long time ago all right. Sorry, guys. I just had my kids come home from school because they had a half day. So um, I only had one thing more to say, though. This one looks all yucky, too. But this is the um, one from Walmart. This is the Equate Beauty um, Daily Facial Cleanser for normal to oily skin. This is like a dupe of the Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. So... So yeah, this is just kind of like a generic one of the um, Cetaphil. So right now I have the real Cetaphil in my shower, but this one worked well for me as well. So yeah, I have oily skin. So for normal to oily skin. So would I repurchase this? Yes. Um, I prefer the Cetaphil one, but this one was okay too. So I would repurchase this. And that is all I have for my empties video. Um, so if you guys enjoyed this, I would love if you give me a big thumbs up, give me a like. Um, if you like these type of videos, like hygiene videos, body care, um, all that stuff, I would love to have you subscribe. I actually do do my What's New Wednesday videos every Wednesday, which is like what is new and affordable body care and fragrance 
tell you guys about any sales and stuff. And then I do my fragrance Fridays every week where we go over, you know, what I wore all week. Um, and then I like to hear what you guys wore too, like your set of the day. So um, I do those and then I usually do like a random video. So this week I did like an empties right now. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I know it was a little bit different than usual, but I wanted to do something a little bit different. So, um, so yeah, I hope you guys have a beautiful day and I will see you in the next video.